when we had last left the spacefarer. They got married to Sarah Morgan. Woohoo! <laughs> this is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking that what we do, since we are on kind of a bit of a timer, a bit of a gambit, if you will, I think we wait until our next scheduled every roughly every six weeks update to Starfield, right? That we're due for. Um, we hold off on this Ryujin quest, right? We see if it gets fixed. If it's not fixed by then, we use console commands, which will, of course, irrevocably screw me within the realm of uh, achievement hunting, mind you, right? I mean, I mean, I guess I could install that one mod. That lets you get around it, right? I don't know. I don't know if I want to bother with that. I'm not really a big achievement person anyway, but I do kind of like seeing and, and going for them uh, yes, in sir. games like this, right? These are kind of like the only games I really um, am interested in them, but I don't know, right? We ended up doing similar stuff with a Skyrim playthrough, right? Because recording myself doing it, it really recontextualizes a lot of the achievement hunting for me to where like yeah if i end up doing the requirements for it on video that's the same as me having gotten it right <laughs> like it doesn't matter to me having the the little doohickey pop up right but at the very least i think that should be our sort of uh, way of proceeding now what we do for now i want to do a little bit of exploring Recycled air just isn't the same as the real thing geez sarah this is our ship but um <laughs> I wanna I wanna check in with all of our companions, all of our constellation companions at least, see if they have anything to say about Sarah and I getting married, see if there's reactivity. And then I think we explore around a few systems, see if we can find any weird junk going on. Then we could potentially go back to Neon, do a oh full God. thorough search of Neon, similar to what we have done in um at like New Atlantis, right? So Something cool. like that. Or potentially we restart up like either the main quest or we could even do the Crimson Fleet stuff, which I'm kind of keen on not doing for a while. Cause like I said, it feels very much like Dark Brotherhood-esque in that we may have to kill people. And I'm, I'm kind of keen on like holding off toward until we're toward the end of the game to do it, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe we end up doing it. Yeah, maybe that's it. But for the time being, I do want to get in some ancillary exploration, which I was planning to do uh, a fair bit of anyway after we'd finished up Ryujin. But, uh, well, Where are we going? the, are the we plans doing? have changed. <laughs> okay. Oh, Cora, do you actually have anything to say? Ahoy, Captain. Uh, who's your favorite member of Constellation? <laughs> Is this a trick question? I'm not going to get in trouble, am I? No matter who I pick? I won't tell anybody. What happens if I tell? If it's me, it's me, isn't it? It isn't your dad? I mean, why would it be your dad? Come on. <laughs> You're of the age where, where, <laughs> where you should not say your dad. Come on. Uh, what happens if I tell? You won't. If you tell, I'll tell everybody in Constellation that you said your favorite person was me. Then you'll be in trouble. Okay, well... It's me, isn't it? <laughs> no! You're my third favorite. Okay, so it's... If I had to guess, from third moving upward, I am third, her dad is second, but first... Noel. Her first is Noel. They have so much in common, right? Do they not have so much in common? I, f I feel like it's got to be Noel. All right. It isn't your dad? No way. Choosing my own dad would be boring. Dad's my second favorite. 
Nailed it. Um, <clears throat> but maybe if my book allowance was bigger, that would change. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Phew! <laughs> I'm glad you said so. My favorite person in Constellation uh. is Sarah. She's so cool. I want to grow up to be just like her. <laughs> I've even been practicing being a leader by bossing my dad around. I don't think he likes it much. Your turn. No fair asking a question if you aren't going to answer it too. Yeah, Sarah's my favorite too. I I married her. Come on. <laughs> Come on. What do you what do you what do you want me to say? I I yeah, I picked her by way of I can seemingly marry and romance all of these people and uh I chose her. Let's see. Sarah's my favorite too. Your dad's my favorite. You're my favorite, of course. I can't choose a favorite. It's someone else. It's someone else. Do we actually get other options or what? I wonder. No, Sarah's my favorite too. Let's say that. Of course she is. I'm always right. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Never quite had a friend like you. Oh, wait. We can ask you one more thing, can't books we? Lately? Yeah, how am I doing as a captain so far? You want my honest opinion? I think you're doing great, but there's always room for improvement. I mean, your ship doesn't have a library. Where's a girl supposed to store her books? What about me? How am I doing as a co-pilot? You're doing great. You still have a lot to learn. Oh, so you're my co-pilot, are you? You're my co-pilot? Yep, that's right. And if you ask me, I'm doing a pretty good job. I keep the ship in tip-top shape and the crew in order, because everybody listens to me. <laughs> but if you think I need a few more lessons... I'm sure there are tons of books on how to be a good co-pilot. Maybe you could bring me one? Oh, really? Oh, no, okay. I thought this was actually, like, another activity side quest. Okay, yeah, you're doing great. She, I, I do enjoy that she has... You can really see, like, a lot of her mannerisms, or, like, her, her personality is not too dissimilar from her father, right? She has this, like... The sort of roguish way of speaking and being like, um, doing like grandstanding, as it were, right? She she has like a more nascent version of what her father does. You're doing great. Thanks. Someday I'll be a captain like you, and then you can be my co-pilot. How about them apples? Okay, why don't you go sign up for Reugen Industries, kid? Okay, fuck me. <laughs> what it's the a hell? Strange feeling. <laughs> no one All right. Living through some. Real history. You, you're, um, <laughs> you're something else. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have anything interesting for me, Sam? Certainly. Here you go. Whoa, what is it? Ta ta tazine. Ta tazine. Okay, how are you feeling about our friendship? Hey, you're the best friend a guy could have. Hope the feeling's mutual. What if I said I wanted more? I feel the same. I feel the same. Of course same. you do. We're a team. That's wild that you can say that, though. That's so wild to me. Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Certainly. Anything new here? Nah. You want to talk to me again? You know where to find me. Okay. Who else have we got on this fucking bucket? Let's see. I think it's just Hadrian, right? Or was was Barrett with us? Or did we end up uh, swapping Barrett out? There's Sarah. Huh. I feel like Barrett is on here too, right? Shit, maybe not. Has been collecting a ton of new things. Ancient. Yeah, maybe he's not. Okay. Well, let's head on back to the lodge. Right? So we can talk with the other folks. My bad. Here we go. Okay, and then... We need to go all the way to Alpha Centauri. Cool. And then... Deimos Armored Transport. Sensor Contact. Here's Jemison. Good. 
And let's go to the lodge. Yeah, we've never really explored around the rest of Jemison, have we? We should do that. Maybe we'll do that. Right? I don't know if there's anything actually peculiar or particular about it, but we need to do it. I think we will. After we have a check-in with everyone, we should do a post-wedding debrief. Memories or not, it's good to be home. Okay, in here. Don't mind bunking on the ship, but nothing is better than unwinding in your own quarters. Welcome back, Captain. Hey, Vasco, do you have anything to say Captain, about all? I believe your ship will perform more efficiently if you bring me on board. I bet you're right about Return that. Soon. Oh, I wonder if Noel will have anything to say. No. Stay safe, okay? Okay. Probably just our like potential follower companions, right? If I had to guess. Hey, hey Barry. Let me know when you're ready to take me along with you. Should only be a few years. <laughs> Barry. Hey. Now the party can get started. Finally. Well, if it isn't our own ranger. <laughs> I hope you're not taking the job permanently. Oh man, we're getting all this too. It's an honor to wear the badge. Nah, not my style. No way, but I'm keeping the badge anyway. Are you gonna give me a counteroffer? Save it for later, Barrett. Are you gonna give me a counteroffer? There's a lot less paperwork in Constellation. And the benefits are pretty good too. Huh. No way, but I'm keeping the badge anyway. Costume party coming up, huh? Anyway, it suits you. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just glad Ron Hope is gone. Hope Tech isn't going to survive, but I had to do it. He was a monster. Those farmers deserve justice. I couldn't accept his blood money. He was an incredible entrepreneur, but he couldn't come back from what he did. He was a monster. Those farmers are gone. But you prevented the next group of people from suffering. It was a hard choice that you made, but I'm proud of you, Captain. Okay, good chat. What about you? You were involved in Sarah's quest. Hi there. How's it going? Eh, nothing. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Oh, Andresia. What is on your mind at this moment? Your investigation with the Freestar Rangers has come to an end. Are you satisfied with the results? It's a bad scene all around. No one should be satisfied. Any situation I can walk away from, you know how it goes. It's behind me. That's all that matters. Let's discuss it some other time. It's a bad scene all around. No one should be satisfied. I suppose not. This Ron Hope, supposedly a man of the people, was more concerned with profit than lives. He was not the first and certainly will not be the last. He was a monster, for sure. Money can bring out the worst in people. He thought he was doing what was necessary. You gotta respect him for taking initiative. You're surprised by him? Let's ask her. Surprised? No. Just disappointed. Another who chose greed over all else. Mm. At least he will no longer be able to prey on others. Right on. I am unsure that death was preferable to justice. But at least the situation is over. And there is no question who was to blame. I think he got exactly what he deserved. I didn't want this, but he gave me no choice. Hell of a way to earn a ranger badge. <laughs> what a thing to say. I didn't want this, but he gave me no choice. No, he did not. A very poor decision on his part. Perhaps a lesson to be learned by others who would break the law. At least while you serve as ranger. It will be an honor to wear this badge. The rangers are lucky to have me. Imagine what I can get away with now that I'm a ranger. It's over. It's done. Let's move on. Huh. Eh, the rangers are lucky to have me. I don't, I don't know if I like any of these, really. The rangers are lucky to have me, I guess. I agree. Though, perhaps you should not share that sentiment with them. True as it may be, it um, does not sound very humble. Shall we find some other adventure to occupy us now? Okay. We should talk to them both again. 
So Ellie contacted me about the case. Oh, really? Please tell me. I've been waiting to hear about it. I thought we were done with Irvin's case. Refresh my memory, which Ellie? I thought we were done with the case. Our part in the case is done, but Ellie took it to court for us. Reminds me, I should send her a gourmet chunks basket. Anyway, we have a verdict. Irvin's record will be expunged on account of his death occurring before the trial ended. It's a technical victory, but we'll take it. We can't change the system that made this happen, but I'm glad we tried. Huh. I'll send my congratulations and gratitude to our lawyer. If you need more detective work, you should hire a professional. How are you feeling about this, Barrett? What's next for Ellie? How are you feeling about this? Relieved. This was always in the back of my mind. Always there when I fell asleep and when I woke up. And I would mask it as much as I could. Hide the sorrow with my wit. Hide the anxiety with my charm. The grief will always be there. But it's something I feel I can move past now. What's next for Ellie? Well, she's going to keep up the fight. Gagarin is full of cases, just like Irvin's, if you can believe it. Okay, well, send my congratulations and gratitude to our lawyer. I, I don't know if... If I would say you should hire a professional for more detective work, right? Because we kind of resolved what we wanted to. Because it was less about... Like, we didn't, we didn't enter this thinking that we could potentially overthrow and change the, like he had mentioned, the entirety of the system, you know? We couldn't change the, like, systemic status quo, as it were. Um, being just, like, a couple individuals working within all of this. But we were able to find him some, like, closure, you know? Uh, send Take my congrats. No worries. Send my congratulations and gratitude to our lawyer. Already did, of course. And a third of the settlement. Just made sense considering how much she did for us. And speaking of the settlement, I divided it into equal portions for me, you, Ellie, and expenses. Here's your share. And I sold the apartment. So here's the bonus from that after taxes. I gave my portion to Ellie so she could fund other cases. Well, there it is. <laughs> I guess it's over. Man, the settlement was less than 10k, right? It plus the 8.7 that we just got was combined with him selling the apartment. Jesus, we got fucking they they hardly spent a dime on this. How are you feeling about it? We knew we couldn't fix the whole system. I'm just glad we could do what we did. Right. I wish we could have helped more people ruined by her faces. But that isn't our fight. What happened to Helgi? Ellie tried to convince the judge to dismiss Helgi's conviction from years ago as well. But the judge didn't think that was warranted. Huh. Helgi was having a rough time. We tried, but he didn't make it easy. Also, well, so I gave Helgi a bit of money. Enough to leave Gagarin if he wanted, just in case. That's very kind of you. Can Hephaestus still do business? Until somebody changes the laws there, this will be just a bump in the road for them. Right. Ellie is going to keep digging into them, and now that she's seen this tactic, she may be able to find a pattern. Well, case closed, detective. There it is. I guess I needed to actually hear someone say it. Case closed. Whew. Finally. It's not lost on me that you've encouraged me to pursue this investigation from the beginning, you know. I appreciate your support more than you can imagine. Thanks, detective. <laughs> so it's weird how they capitalized the D in detective. If we make a good team, you could have done all that by yourself. Anything to get you out of your funk. It's gotten annoying. We make a good team. Huh. Just going to casually point out that a long time ago, you seemed not very thrilled about working as a team. I'm glad you took a risk with me. Don't tell the others. But I was having a hard time focusing because of all this trial stuff. So thank you for helping with that. Your secret's safe with me. 
I didn't really notice. Good. I've noticed you've been underperforming and I expect better of you. Oh my god. Your secret's safe with me. As close as we've gotten, I believe that. Usually Vasco's the only one I trust. Granted, he's programmed not to blab. With you, no special protocols required. Anyway, I'm just glad we got everything settled with Irvin's case. It was just one loose end in a universe full of them. But I'm glad it's tied. Okay. Anything else? Uh, do you have anything for me, Barrett? Yeah, I do. How did you know? Alien kebabs. Okay. What did you want to talk about? Ah, oh, weird. <laughs> I was just thinking. Well, never mind. Hey. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? For you? Go ahead, ask me anything. Nope, nothing new. Okay. Okay, friend. Till next time. How about you, Andresia? Credit. I'm here for you. Should you need me. How do you feel about our friendship? I find myself much improved by spending time with you. Th that is how friends work, yes? Okay. We're on the same page I then. I certainly hope so. Yeah, same as earlier. Until our next talk. I'm expecting big things from you with this ship project. Hey. Don't hope my employees don't give you too much trouble. Okay. Remember, you're representing Shit, nobody... all of us out there. We're, we're not really, we're really not gonna let them know that we're actually married? <laughs> you know what, I guess that's a clever way for us to not have, for, for them to not need to write anything. A cursory scan you know? indicates that you are in good health. Okay, let's get on out of here. Let's check elsewhere on the planet. Like here, mining outpost. I don't even know why this mining outpost is showing up. I, I guess from just like orbital scans. Right, but you would think a whole bunch of stuff would show up that's like inconsequential. That. I don't know, I've never actually set foot on this planet outside of the city. It looks fine. Mining outpost, just looks like people work here. Six sisters sure miner. allowed to be here? All this cargo could be off limits. Well, they haven't told us to leave yet. What are they gonna do? Shoot us? Hey! Go along. I mean, it's not a spectator sport. Oh. I'm glad someone came oh. along. <laughs> we could really use your help. We've attracted the attention of the Crimson Fleet. We're running low on credits and they're starting to get violent. Think you can take them out? We can't take much more of this. They're not far. Yeah, the pirates will never know what hit them. Thank you. Stay safe out there. Sure, maybe this will lead us to a new area or something. Abandoned shipping depot. Holy fuck, it's way out there. My god, man. Okay. Huh. Anything else here? You've got this. Who are the six sisters? Is this the first Don't time we've heard of this? People like me do the real work around here. Fuck. The supervisor okayed me selling off our extra minerals. Want to have a look? I'm okay. Oh. Okay. Ooh, might be something useful here. Oh. You look at you going in here. Personal space. Oh, a lot of folks in here. Shields up, seals tight. Whoa, what was that noise? Mission board out here, too. What kind of missions we got? Destroy the Crimson Fleet Phantom at Zomka. Kill the ecliptic contractor in Curb Beam. Transport scientists to Murfred... Murfred... 8D. Supply Tantalum TA to Jemison, Alpha Centauri. Huh. Okay. This is your idea of a vacation spot. You have your hands on Okay. So let's go over to the landing area that we never actually got to see because we just fast traveled here. And then that should save us like, what, 300 meters? 
Let's see, where is... There it is. Okay, what else have we got out here? Boreas root? Structure of some sort? Herding Reef Walker Scavenger. I think we're safe to assume that most of the creatures out here are going to be low level, right? Ugh. This thing really looks like a Pokemon, for real. Is it asleep? Is it standing up asleep? Got some natural... Another structure. Another structure even further out. Okay. Let's see, what number is my amp on? Six. Good, good, good. Head on up here. Wow, it looks kind of cool. And I'm not just talking about the snow, huh? Shit. Okay. Wow. It's like a gigantic satellite dish. I don't know if we've been to this. Right? Like this version, this like randomly occurring point of interest. Okay. Sure. I have to wonder if they have different POIs that appear in different types of biomes. You know, like, this kind can only ever appear on a planet that has human life and, like, snow. Okay, over here. Great. Cool. I don't know. This seems new. But I could just be tripping. Oh, we better drink our tranquility. Get a slurp. Oh, they got landmines out here. It's fine. Jeez. Look at this. The lift is busted. Urban operator outfit? How's that look? Oh god, it's hideous. <laughs> okay. Let's try and get up here. Oh, oh my god, well, I don't think I this can. This elevator isn't going to do us any good. Perhaps if we go around, we can discover another way to get up there. Yeah, look, there's a pirate up there. I don't know, I might be able to make it from here. Oh, nice. Okay. Got some ammo. Pop this open. Blow him up. Easy enough. Yeah, I don't think we've ever been in this kind of facility yet. Okay. I feel like if there were ever a game to have, like, upward level scaling, it would be Starfield. You know? Didn't Fallout 4 have some? Maybe maybe I'm tripping balls that it didn't. But I feel like once you cleared out a dungeon in Fallout 4, if you went back and it, like, repopulated, that it would be closer to your level. Right? It would be the level that you were at whenever you got nearby it. Sort of in that global world cell. Surprised that they don't do that here, too. Or I guess you don't even need to go that far with it. Just make it to where everything is scaled to the player, roughly. I don't know. I guess then you miss out on stuff where it's like... You, uh... You have a clear power differential, right? Okay. But then it would be like... You know, with that kind of scaling, there'd be reason to explore sort of starter planets and whatnot. Because, I mean, this is... This is like... Oh, shit. <laughs> this is absurdly easy. And, uh, we're, we're not really getting anything of value whatsoever. Even the XP we get is, like, Garbo. 
Right, as much as I would enjoy the idea of, like, looking around here, it's really just not worth our time. Okay. Which, you know, the sort of level scaling, I think, works because you're operating at, like, a planetary scale. You know? There's no reason why there wouldn't be... You could, like, internally reason that, oh... Because we're looking at an entire planet, obviously some parts of the planet are lower level than others, right? Rather than, uh, this planet is just generally this level, right? Have it- have it to where there's a floor, right? Like a level 20 planet will always have level 20 dudes on it. But if you come back later at like level 60, they'll be scaled up, right? Okay. Anything else here? Okay, I guess we're good. That said, we didn't find any sort of little magazine, did we? Which would be the real reason to be here. Huh. I haven't seen really any regular living areas, have I? Where we would find such a thing? Let's see, if we go down here and look for just like a regular doorway in. Does that exist here? Yeah, look at this. Well, no, there's no doorway. Is there a magazine out here, though? I don't think so. Okay. Sure. Oh, gosh, getting pretty damn framey here. What are we loading in in this place? Okay. Huh. Well, there's definitely an interior. How do we get in there to it, though? Yeah, I have no idea. Is it this? Or does this loop back around to where we were previously? Ooh, no, this seems right. Yeah, I blew them up. <laughs> Sarah, that's what happened. I, I blew those people up. Okay, take some of that. Anything else around here? No, not really. Living quarters, this is what we want. Deployment deck? What? Taking that. Jeez, yeah, look how framey it is right there. Something to do with this. It's a little weird. Some explosives. Okay. Got a safe with an expert lock. Huh. Pop all this open. Add a crone. Little bits of paperwork. But no super cool magazine, huh? Okay. Well, shit. Maybe over here? I'd really hate to leave this place without finding one. Wait. What was that? Oh, here we go. Ugh, sorry. Okay. Disassembler rip shank. A meal kit. I'll eat that. Hmm. Seemingly nothing else. Got some explosives. Digipick. Some shells. Circuit board. Yeah, weird. No magazine here. Huh. Well, what can you do? Maybe there ain't one. That can't be, though, right? That can't be. Can I actually shoot that to... No. To some effect? Prototype equipment? How about in this room? Had we been in this room before? 
Gosh, it's making a weird noise. I don't think we had been in here. Got some ammo. Trowel. What is this? A bomb? Prototype equipment again. Door is under construction or something? I'm not sure. Oh, please tell me this place isn't producing anything meant for human consumption. <laughs> Sarah, I don't think it is at all. <laughs> what do you think is for human consumption, Sarah? <laughs> Sarah enters a room filled with, like, doorways and arches and, like, fundamental pieces of buildings. Right? And she's like, oh, tell me we're not meant to eat this. <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't know what food really is. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Anything here? Okay. Oh, here it is. Nova Galactic Manual 08. Permanently reduces fuel needed for a grav jump by an additional 1%. Wow, that couldn't be more worthless. <laughs> right? Ooh, that, that'll come in handy in uh, Starfield survival mode, but for now, ew, that one's a little rough. Okay. Well, how about over here? Anything? We should find out what's yeah. being manufactured at this facility. We should? Okay, let's return back over to that miner. Gosh, how far out is that? Here, we can fast travel over there, huh? Okay, good. And then after this, let's go to a higher level system that we haven't been to. I'm even willing to go to like a, a too high of a level one, you know? We seem to be faring pretty well in combat. It would save us a lot of time if we could find this facility's manifests. Why? What are you talking about, Sarah? Find its manifests? Is... Is that like vestigial parts of what Starfield used to be, do you think? Right? Her last two things are it's like, we need to find out what this facility made. Right? And then also find its residual manifest. Was there like a part of Starfield where uh, it focused so much more on exploration? Like you went to an old abandoned facility or whatever, or one overrun by like spacers or pirates or something, and you had to run out there. And part of the exploratory part is to find out and learn what it used to be used for, you know? And then Constellation would log that. Huh. And you'd get some amount of, like, XP or credits for it. Because, what what a weird I'm focus on her part. Until my contract's up. Keep moving. I'm out okay. here to make credits, not friends. Hey. How'd everything go? Did you give them hell? I, I did. I sent them to hell. Thanks for coming through for us. Here, this is yours. Wouldn't want you to leave empty-handed. Okay, three grand. Let's do a hard save here, just in case I want to get a screenshot. Keep away from the equipment. I don't have a medic in this town. Okay, great. And then let us take off. I think. Let's see. Let's find a high tier area, right? Let's find something a little hot to trot, like Russell Hog. Have we been to Russell Hog yet? Oh shit, we have. Okay, how about um Hmm. Well, oh, one of these. Nemeria? Oh, we've been there. What about this? Newton. I think we've been here. Newton sounds familiar. I guess we can discern by way of how much has been surveyed, right? Yeah, like this. Celebri. And Baradine. Zero survey percentage. Or Tadach. Tadacha? Okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, Tadacha it is. 
Let's do it. I picked up something you might be interested in. Okay, what all have we got out here? Oh. Huh. It's a single planetoid system. One planet, three moons. There is an atmosphere. There is life. How about the moons? Okay. How about here? Eh, nothing much. This moon? Eh, nothing much. Okay. Should we land on this planet? Sure. Let's turn off our scanner. What kind of areas have we got? Frozen plains, mountains, coniferous forest. Frozen plains again, mountains, ocean. Okay, well, let's go to a coniferous forest. See what, what all is there, if anything. Definitely at least some creatures we could scan up. Been a while since we did any of that, at minimum. Ready for touchdown. I find that there is a certain degree of serenity in doing it. Some nice looking glow shroom. Okay. Exit our ship here. Should we should we actually wait until daytime? Yeah, let's let's board here. Let's have a, a quick nap. Okay. Oh. Creamy man, I need you to wake up. Jesus, creamy man. What are you doing to me? Creme Terracino. Being part okay. of your crew <laughs> is just the best. Okay, so now let's go for, I guess, hmm, 10 hours. If it's 2221 local time, 10 hours should be morning. And we can poke and prod around a bit. Maybe we'll even want to set up a little factory or whatever here. Who knows? I don't know. I'm quite keen on, uh keeping it within that one system. Tau Seti. You thought that was crazy? Is it true you're Fighting hunting down some terror moves? <sighs> wow. Is there anything in the galaxy you can't wrangle? You could probably lasso a whole planet if you wanted to. What is that from? Lassoing a whole planet. Isn't that something like Superman did or whatever? That's definitely a nod to something. Ooh. I do quite like the look of this. There's some, like, dinosaur-looking creature. A lockjaw grazer. My god, they're a bunch. My god, they're all dead. Hunting Saligator. Yeah, look! These are fucking dinos! Shoot the shit out of them, what the hell? Ugh, oh, gotten poisoned. Okay. Yeah, look at all of our fucking debilitations here. Stunted pine. Are there actually any explorable locations on this planet? There's some natural over there. What is that? Another natural. Sure. Oh, fuck it. Let's go investigate one of the naturals. I actually really like the look of this planet. Holy hell. This is quite fun. If not for the fact that it's uh, covered in, like, poison rain. Okay. So, what Got some got? iron. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Chlorine, water. Carbazilic acid. 
or carpazilic. Okay. Yeah, this place is kind of fucking beautiful. Okay. Hold up. Let me write this down. Let's see. Huh. Let's try... Ty... Dacha... System... Ty... Dacha... One... And then... Coniferous... Forest. Perfect. Just in case we ever want to come back in the future and build here. Okay. Oh. Laga plant. Aluminum. Boreas root. The Boreas root looks like a little fucking monster. Oh, shit. Getting frostbitten, too. That said, you know, we're getting all these ailments and shit. <laughs> like I said before, uh, it's not really making that much of a difference, right? It's, <laughs> I'm not really feeling like I'm going through a nightmare. I got all this shit popping up on my watch and shit's beeping every so often, but uh, ain't really doing much to me, right? I feel like the severity of it needs to be increased, like we said before. Bring back some of the friction that very clearly existed before in this game that they uh, cut from it. Gosh, this, this planet is beautiful, though. I really love it. Okay. Getting some more of these weird plants. Cool. Argon here as well. Stunted pine. Let's see what this natural is. Oh look, more of these guys. Should we just shoot them for XP? Fuck it. I'm a fucking monster, I guess. Look. This, this is just what happens to every Starfield player, apparently, at some point. You just want the... Those sweet fucking levels. Sorry, friends. Too much of an XP-rich environment. Good God. Okay, now the Sally Gators, however, are a bit fucked up. They would fight us anyway. Okay. Which, you know, in their defense, is kind of their planet. <laughs> right. right. Okay. There we are. Good. I mean, maybe they're just looking at it the wrong way. Is it their planet? Or is it our galaxy? Hmm. Okay. Unexplored ecological feature. Sure. What is it? Oh. What the fuck? Oh, these are like the weird looking termite mounds, huh? Except not quite. Log a plant. Pile of shit. And look. There's their nesting zones. Ugh. Hive structures. Dense roots, fibers, and other biotic structures merge into a nutrient-rich storage cluster that sits on channels extending off towards other clusters. Okay. Oh. Well, these sound very pleasant. A lot of the times we find these things and they sound like a fucking hornet's nest. 
But this just sounds like a nice summer's night with, like, crickets and fireflies. Yeah, that's very pleasant. It doesn't look like it would be, but it is. Okay. How lovely. Sure. Should we scan some more of these things? I don't know if there's any people who live here on this fucking planet. I think... I think the environment is a little too fucked up. Right? Although, it's not really causing us much harm whatsoever. You know. These folks are just fucking babies, right? So what? We're getting burned and frostbitten at the exact same time on this planet? Grow up! <laughs> right? Come on, you can't take a burn frostbite? Jeez. What are you, a child? Oh, fuck. Oh, man, I can't take it. Okay. Wow, that fucker almost wiped us out. <laughs> very, very fitting for that to have happened. Okay. Let's do a quick save. Good. So is there anything else out here we ought to check? I don't think so. I think we should probably go back to the ship. Oh look, Ice Creeper. Are we getting close to the Frost Plains already? Huh. I don't know. Okay. Look, I can't help myself. I mu I simply must scan them. We're so close to getting them maxed out, you know? There we are. Definitely feel like our, our scan results for these should uh, garner far more XP. Right. See, yeah, yeah. Th this was a problem that um, No Man's Sky ran into that they have since changed and patched to where now it is very much worth it to scan and fully scan planets in that game. The way they solved it um, is that you would buy add-ons, right? So the more you played the game and progressed, you could buy add-ons for your scanner that increase the value of scans if you wanted to do that. And you could basically have like a solid income in that game just from scanning planets, right? You could completely kit out your character to where that's like the main thing that you do. And it's incredibly lucrative, right? They sort of, here in Starfield, they kind of gesture at wanting that to be the case because you are awarded XP. Uh, they do also give you money. If you fully like survey a planet, you can go back to Constellation. They'll give you a, a stipend. However, it seems like they need to scale it up um, the, like I said, the way in which No Man's Sky did it was, you know, the longer you play, the more, the higher the likelihood that you're going to invest in your character and thus have these scanner upgrades that give you additional, uh, resources when you do a scan. Here in Starfield, uh, we do have that by way of the perk system, and sure, why not throw some in there? Have it to where it's like, yeah, scans not only are easier and quicker to do, but they award you more resources when you do it, whether that be XP or money when you turn in a full survey. But also, crucially, uh, Starfield has leveled planets, right? They should just have it to where, like we fought the creatures out here, the creatures scale up in level, thus they give us more XP, right, when we kill them. Because just by virtue of them being a higher level creature, because the planet is higher level, we get more resources out of killing them. Uh... Similarly, scanning stuff on a higher level planet should also give you more XP, right? We shouldn't have just gotten 23 XP like the same as like a level one moon or whatever. <laughs> like if we were scanning shit on Vectera, uh, we should have got like, you know, a similar amount to what we had uh, killed, right? At the very least, though it should frankly be multitudes of that. It should be worth multiple kills on the planet. I know that's grammatically impossible, but somehow... A brief you history of time. To do that. If you find okay. Any well, at all, I, will be I am thinking that when next we come back, we'll call it for now, like when next we come back, 
we'll explore we'll do at least one more video of some of some exploration like this like i said we can seek out some more systems that we haven't really been to or anything like that we'll seek them out uh we'll do a little bit of that and then we'll try and i guess resume some proper questing right maybe we'll we will do um this crimson fleet stuff is there any reason why i shouldn't like have i been doing good by avoiding them and then by way of going after them now, am I making a, a bit of a screw up situation for us? <laughs> am I actually uh, sort of overriding an otherwise good decision I've had? It sounds it sounds like we're good to, to start it up and see how it goes, right? Because it, it would be kind of the perfect thing to bide our time until the next six week update to see if our Ryuji and quest art gets fixed. Right. And like I said, if it ends up not getting fixed by then, um, we will just use console commands, right? We'll just console command that shit up. All right. Well, until next time, please take care of each other.